Hey, hey, it's Chrissy Lulu. So today I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind recently, and that is getting a job after college. <laughs> um, this has been very difficult for me. I only started looking very, very recently, like the day I'm filming this. But like, ugh, just searching for jobs after college is causing me so much anxiety. And I did see, I have done some looking in the past, but where I'm looking, <laughs> there's like no jobs. <laughs> and it's just stressful, not for either of my degrees. Um, if you don't know, I have, I have two. Yeah, that's fun. Um, I, I have double the stuff I can look for. Um, and it's just, there's so much breadth of what I can do. It's just too much, I feel. Um, <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are experiencing this. I'm sure you've experienced this. If you're in high school and you're doing the college search, um, like, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What what kind of studies do you want to specify or, like, specifically look into? And I had that, too. But I feel like this is much worse because I feel like I am unqualified for everything. Everything's like, you need to know how to do this. You need, to, you need the experience. You need to be in this job for at least a year. I'm just like, I... I haven't even graduated yet. I'm stressed out. College college isn't too bad, at least. If you ask me, it's not horrid. Dealing with everything isn't the worst. I've been able to deal with everything really well. Do all my homework and everything. Not fail. Not flunk out. You know, college is working for me. And I'm on my final semester right now. It's fun. <laughs> It's fun until you gotta be like, okay, what do I actually want to do? I feel like looking for your standard job is just difficult. And then the unconventional is just like super tempting and easy to go with, such as doing art for a living, like just becoming a social media influencer, as many people do. <laughs> There's plenty of people who their sole income is YouTube and their art, and that's like awesome, and that would be like amazing to do. You do something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. There's tons of things that like I want to do in the future. And I just, I don't know. I don't, I've never had a clear idea of what I've wanted to do with my life. So being forced to actually think about that is making me really anxious. I don't know if any of you guys have the same issue. Um, let me know if you do down below <laughs> or like what your thoughts on it are. Um, currently I'm kind of looking at like museum jobs which a lot of the time would be your curator of collections and a lot of them are like you need experience with putting stuff up in the museums um currently i'm kind of looking more towards new york city because that's kind of the area i'm planning on relocating to because i live in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. i'm like how i'm gonna be able to find a job up here with my degrees um and i don't want to live at home anymore so you know, and from what I've heard, it's cheaper to live in New York than where I'm living right now. So, that's fun. Not not New York City, um, just the state. I'm sure none of you guys want to come to a video to <laughs> talk about stress and stuff, especially an art video. But it's something that's been on my mind a lot recently. And especially since I've seen a drastic change in my art over like the past year as in quality I've gotten like so much better and it's like an awesome feeling to be like yo I got this it's just weird I think that I'm not gonna be in college anymore I'm not gonna be taking my drawing classes <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to experiment as much and I'll just have to you know deal with it um I'll, I'll get to do my nine to five which is something I'm not looking forward to. Just the thought of working like makes me really anxious. <laughs> it's like you look at jobs if you've ever done the job search. These are all your um, responsibilities and you're like that is a lot because if you've ever gone to college you know you get lazy um, or at least I did. <laughs> 
just because I don't do much all day. I just, I've got homework, and then I do it, and then it's just sitting around doing nothing. There are plenty of people who I worry about <laughs> actually being able to do anything in the world, um, who I currently go to school with and interact with, who I don't think they're going to be able to get a job, especially not in their field. But everyone tells me that they don't think I'll have a problem getting a job in my field, so... Hopefully that is a good thing, I suppose. I It doesn't help me in the sense that I still don't know what I'm doing, but at least people have some um, hope in me, see me um, possibly being successful, and yeah, it's all fun and good, isn't it? Um, just because I do get a full-time job, though, if I do, we'll see what um, I do, um, <laughs> what happens between... Now, graduation and getting my first job, I will probably go get a full-time job. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing art. Art is my passion. Um, I feel like that is an important thing to keep in my life, if that makes sense. I'm not going to stop drawing. Um, I've gotten so much practice in <laughs> and put so much work into my work that it'd be ridiculously for me to just stop and drop it all cold turkey. I feel like that'd be a waste of my time and my money and my effort. I'm trying to put myself out there too, um, just art-wise. I've just I I'm not I haven't heard back yet, um, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting one piece in this one show. Um, I might talk about it later. Um, for school pieces that I've done, um, and that's really exciting. Um, I got to frame them all and like put the wires on the back of the piece um, because most museums if you don't know you can pretty much just buy frames from your local store craft store easy more hobby lobby target um target's not a craft store but they sell frames um you know wherever but you got to use a wire to hang in me most museums instead of the crappy little hangers that they have so I submitted three pieces, um, there was a fee to submit, so I paid the fee, handed my pieces in, and the guy's supposed to come in at some point, and then choose pieces, because um, on March 28th, I believe, he's um, is the opening for the show, and he's got to have his pieces, their pieces cho chosen by then. So I believe I'm going to at least have one piece in. I submitted the max of three. So I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but yeah. It, it's not fun. Um, I would recommend if you are in college, you are thinking about going to college, start thinking about what you want to do now. Don't wait like me. Um, get an idea. Um, I've always been really indecisive. So it's been really hard for me, and that's my own fault for not figuring this out sooner. But yeah, don't don't be like Chrissy. Smarten up, kiddos. Don't be a Chrissy. <laughs> that's really all I have to say, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, just gotta get my thoughts out there. And the stress of the real world, which is quickly hurtling towards me as May quickly approaches, um... Time is quickly closing in on me in my college career. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. This should be interesting times for your, for your Chrissy Lulu here. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my piece. Um, I don't know what art I'm putting behind this, this talk, but I hope you enjoyed the art. I'll put something. I've got tons of backlogged videos and no audio. So enjoy my stuff. <laughs> but yeah, please like. Please subscribe. You don't get anything for it except for my pretty voice, I guess. And my pretty art, of course. Um, yeah, I would. I appreciate the support. I appreciate all of you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm checking out now. Bye!